Today we're going to continue on with this amazing uh, story of Nehemiah. Such an inspiration and a challenge to us. I want to read from uh, Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. This is after he's already approached the king and he's got his letters and he's making it happen and he's on his way. God sent me and there he is. He's being sent. So check it out. Listen to this. When I came to the governors of the province west of the Euphrates River, I delivered the king's letters to them. The king, I should add, had sent along army officers and horsemen to protect me. Before I read any further, isn't that cool how God provides above and beyond? Not only did he have received letters of protection for travel, uh, letters to provide all the provisions necessary to rebuild the city walls, the gates, but also a house for Nehemiah himself. And then the king sent an army of protection around him. Our God's amazing what he does stuff, but that's not the whole point of today. Just listen as we read further. Here we go. The king, I should add, had sent along army officers and horsemen to protect me. But when Sanballat the Heronite and Tobiah the Ammonite official heard of my arrival, they were very displeased that someone had come to help the people of Israel. So I want to just pause reading right there and understand that, you know, when God is doing what God says he will do, and when God is moving in a spectacular way and providing and doing some things, there's always opposition that comes against it. We as Christians should not be surprised when we're uh, walking with God, see the hand of God, walking in full obedience to God, see what he's doing, and then run into opposition. For the enemy does oppose everything that God does. And as we deal with that, we need to stay focused on the fact that it, it is the God of provision that we serve. It is the God of protection that we serve. And he is in control. The enemy will always come against us. You can always count on that. But that doesn't have anything to do with my walk with God. And oftentimes, when I see the opposition that comes against me in my own life, I recognize that it is because God is moving in my life, because God is doing things around me. And so even as we see God moving and stirring and, and making things happen, even today, church, right now, as we're watching God accomplish amazing things and stirring the hearts of people, we need to understand and expect that there will be opposition. <laughs> the enemy will always come against us. He does not want God's people moving forward in faith and trust and seeing God move. But our God is victorious. And we will be. And my hero, Nehemiah, will be with us again tomorrow as we continue this journey of faith, watching God do what God says he will do. Let's be his church.